Melissa, I am honestly so jealous of you. How in the world did this happen? And I had to hear about it from Connie in our department. I can't believe you're getting married and you didn't tell me. I didn't realize it was even still possible to get married at 40 years old. Are you serious? It's already being spread around the office. Yeah, it's crazy how fast word travels, you lucky dog. I mean at 40, you might as well put in an application to a senior home, grandma. Like, that's the age that guys usually end up leaving their woman, not marrying them. So it's insane that you're actually getting married, still having trouble processing it. It's a miracle. I don't even know what to say to that. Like, am I supposed to take that as a compliment? If so, thank you. I guess, although it's all feeling a little backhanded, to be honest. Of course, it's a compliment. Don't be silly, but I mean, spending all of that money on a wedding. You know it's not cheap. I really admire that you're willing to do that. Because I know that if it was me, I'd never be able to do that. It'd be a waste. Why are you bringing up money? Well, I'm just saying, being able to get married at 40, let alone finding someone willing to marry you at that age, you certainly have to have had a lot of help to pull that off. I'm sure you've already spent tons and tons of money on like a matchmaker or something to find someone, huh? Or did you pay for the premium service on some dating app? Beg those guys to talk to you on Tinder or something. You have to tell me how much you have to invest to land yourself a man. Hundreds of dollars. Thousands. I really don't know what you're trying to say or hint at here but you're completely wrong. I haven't hired anyone to help me out with the whole matchmaking thing. And I certainly have never tried out or even downloaded any of those dating apps. It's so rude of you to even assume that I had to pay my fiancé to marry me. Oh really? But there is absolutely no way that some 40-year-old hag like you is able to get married. Not unless there was something super shady going on. As if someone would just willingly choose to get married to you. That's ridiculous. There is no reason why a 40-year-old woman can't get married just like everyone else. To be honest, what really happened was he just came up to me while I was in the city. I never thought this man who was, like, 10 years younger than me would ever start flirting with me. What? He was flirting with you? And I'm sorry, you must have made a typo or something. Did you say he was 10 years younger than you? Yeah, can you believe it? It was actually stopping at this bar to treat myself to a little cocktail and I was a little drunk. And I was feeling a little buzzed so on a whim I just invited him to join me, and he said yes. So we just started talking and one thing led to another, and he asked me out right then and there. You're joking, right? He met some 40-year-old woman and he just decided to ask her out right then and there. That has to be some joke. But it wasn't. So anyway that's just kind of how we started seeing each other. And he pretty much proposed within a couple of weeks. I was actually surprised by how fast everything went down. No, there's no way that you're telling the truth. I mean, it would make perfect sense if it was someone young and hot like me. But Melissa, you are literally 40, and even on your best day you look like, super old. And I'm supposed to believe that some younger guy flirted with you and that eventually chose to propose. Out of his own free will. Wait, I get it. Your fiancé is blind right? Or there's something seriously wrong with his vision? Well, I suppose his vision is a little off. He does have to wear glasses. Oh, that makes a little more sense. But if he takes his glasses off, his face isn't half bad to look at if you know what I mean. Actually, now that I think about it, he kind of looks like that one celebrity you like. You know, from that boy band you're always going on and on about. Which one? It can't possibly be a popular one. What was his name again? Oh, Harry in One Direction, and I'm not being biased, he really does look like him. Are you kidding me? Your fiancé is that hot? There's no way. At first I was a little worried because I was afraid he was just looking for some money or something. But as always I was just worrying too much and that was definitely not the case. I mean, he's such a gentleman and so kind and he really is planning ahead for our future and super great about money too. He's already made a plan about our life savings and bank account and everything. He's so mature and was definitely ready to settle down. I can't believe this. 
How are you getting my dream? You're just some old hag. It's not fair that you get to marry some hot guy younger than you. When I heard you were getting married I thought it was to some ugly old guy who was actually in your league. Girl, you are way too invested in my life. Why are you so obsessed? Whatever. Hey, you have to let me meet your fiancé. I still don't believe you unless I get to actually see it my own eyes. There's no way I'm believing that he's as hot or young as you're saying he is. Besides, if he's really all that you describe him to be, he'll probably dump you for me once I meet him anyway. Excuse me? Well I mean, I'm young, hot, and still single so it would make sense if that did happen. It's not fair that you're so old and getting married instead of me. Um, I'm sorry Mallory, did you just happen to forget that you have a boyfriend already? You literally had to go through that whole approval process thing with a company to date Dallas from marketing. Yeah, but it's not like we're married. So it's fine if I meet your fiancé. It's like window shopping, or looking at the menu without ordering off of it. Do you realize just how ridiculous you sound right now? Great, so definitely don't forget to introduce me next time. Of course, if you don't I'm more than happy to take the initiative and get his contact information and reach out myself. A few days later. Hey Melissa, I'm really sorry to be bothering you like this. There's something I really need to talk to you about if you don't mind. It's sort of a private matter, so I hope I'm not crossing the line or anything. Hey Dallas, what's up is everything okay? We're not in the same department and I don't think we've ever really had a proper conversation. So I'm guessing if you're reaching out to me it has to be Mallory related? Yeah. Actually it is. There's something that I wanted to ask you about her. Actually, this is kind of embarrassing to admit, but she dumped me last week. Like, out of nowhere. Wait, really? I am so sorry. Yeah, it was kind of really weird. She just came up to me and said that she met the love of her life and that they were in love and getting married, and just dumped me. I tried to reach out to get some sort of explanation besides that. I mean, we were together a long time, you know. But I haven't been able to get a hold of her since. Hold on, the love of her life? I tried to talk to her at work, but she just avoided me. But I just can't let it go. Something feels off. So if you know anything about Mallory or what happened at all, it would be great if you could let me know. I mean you guys work together and you see her every day so if anyone might know anything, I thought that you might. Huh, well... I guess thanks for reaching out to me, I know it must have taken a lot on your part. But I'm really sorry, I don't know much about what goes on in Mallory's love life. We don't really have that kind of relationship where we ever talk about those kinds of things. And yeah, we're in the same department but I haven't gotten to talk to her much recently either. Oh, for real? But like, for the past month, haven't you guys have been going on all those business trips together? What are you talking about? Yeah, whenever I try to text her or try to plan a date night she would always have some sort of business trip that she was taking with you, or tell me that you two went out for drinks so she was busy. You two have been hanging out a lot. Um, I haven't gone on a single business trip or even gone out with her. Ever, maybe she was using me as an excuse to cheat on you or something. What? So she's been cheating on me this entire time. I can't believe this, I never pegged her to be a cheater, I am so stupid for believing the lies. Hey, Dallas, this is kind of changing topics a little bit but if I happen to have a picture of the person she was cheating on you with, would you by any chance want to see it? What do you mean? The truth is, I'm actually in the same boat as you. My fiancé just dumped me this morning. Wait. You got dumped by your fiancé. No way. Everyone at the office heard the rumor that you were getting married. Wow. I didn't realize it had spread around the office so quickly. Oh, I didn't mean for it to come out like that. By rumor, I don't mean they were making fun of you or anything. Everyone was super nice about it. In fact, everyone was really excited about it. Wanted to throw you some engagement party and everything. You're like the office favorite so we were all really happy for you. So of course we would want to celebrate something as amazing as you getting married. Really? You're kidding, right? But no one thought that you would get dumped. 
Wait a minute. Did you bring that up because you think our two things are related? Like Mallory's new husband is actually your ex fiance Actually, never mind. There is no way something like that would happen. That would be crazy. Right. Melissa, tell me you're joking. Hate to tell you this Dallas, but I'm not. I'm pretty sure that Mallory was cheating on you with my fiancé. What the hell? But you're literally Mallory's boss. Is that what you're trying to tell me? That Mallory somehow stole her boss's fiancé? And on top of that, then proceeded to use you as an excuse for where she was when she was cheating with sad fiancé? Are you busy tonight? I think I can provide you some clarity on the situation. I should tell you a little more about my fiancé. I can even show you a picture of him if you want. I really think you're going to want to hear what I have to say. There's a reason I think my fiancé was the one Mallory was cheating with and this will definitely explain why. Yeah, of course. I'll let you know when I get off of work so we can talk. One month later. Hey Melissa, I'm really sorry to brother you during work. I know you're probably swamped. It's me, Mallory, you know, the girl who's on her honeymoon right now, haha. Ha. Anyway, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but did you happen to get that email I sent you earlier? I made sure to send it to your work email. Of course I checked it. What about it? Is there a reason you felt the need to send me a picture of your wedding pictures? After you decided to steal my fiancé so you could marry him yourself? What do you want me to say? That it's a beautiful picture and you both look happy? Congratulations, I guess. Oh, how kind of you. Thank you so much. Yup, I wanted you to be the first to know that Jacob and I got married. And it's all thanks to you, really ha ha. Although I do feel like I owe you an apology. I know you were really looking forward to marrying him so I almost feel bad that I stole him from you. But what can you do? Sometimes these things just happen, you know. Jacob just fell head over heels and was so insisted on marrying me. How could I ever say no? Whatever, Mallory. I don't care anymore. It's over. It's done. I'm moving on. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised that he chose you over me. See, that's what I've been saying this whole time. I'm so glad you finally see the truth. That I'm so much younger and hotter so obviously I was the more attractive choice. No pun intended haha. -ha. Plus, I met his family and they already love me. They all keep saying that Jacob lucked out in his choice of wife. Isn't that so sweet of them? Wow, Mallory. Right, gosh, with the husband is hot I'm really feeling on top of the world. I mean, Jacob makes great money and his family's well off, so I feel like I'm basically set for life. Lucky me. And he said he's so glad he made the right choice with a younger wife. Interesting, Jacob said that, did he? Yeah, he should have seen the way he was looking at me during the wedding. Like, when I came out in my gorgeous dress, his mouth was hanging open for so long I thought he'd catch flies or something. But you know what the best part of all of this was? That I got to steal your fiancé. It's the best feeling ever. This wedding was everything I could have ever asked for and then some. And don't worry, I'll make sure to be happy with Jacob enough for the both of us. Well then, I guess I should just say congratulations and leave it at that. Oh, and also, welcome to hell. Excuse me. Please, by all means enjoy your life being married to Jacob. You can be his bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, obedient wife. You'll have to work hard to support Jacob and his family. Wait, what do you mean I have to support them? Well, like you said, I'm not that young so I didn't really have the energy to take care of his dad or anything. But since you're young, you should have no problem at all with that. It'll be super easy for you to get up in the middle of the night to change his diapers and stuff. His what now? And I actually had kind of a hard time keeping my mouth shut around them. He always got so upset that I would talk back. But that shouldn't be too much of a problem for you, right? I'm sure you'll be a big help to them. Good luck with all of that. You're kidding, right? Wait a minute. What are you talking about? Hell, changing diapers, keeping my mouth shut. I'm so confused on what you're trying to say right now. Don't try to scare me like that just because you're a jealous witch who can't handle losing. Oh. Have you and Jacob not discussed anything that happens post-wedding? 
What do you mean? Well, after you and Jacob get married you guys will be moving into his dad's house right away. They want you to do the chores around the house and take care of his dad. You'll have to quit your job, of course, and spend all day with his dad at home. Didn't he tell you all of this? What? That literally sounds like every wife's nightmare. Did you really not tell you any of this? Kind of a red flag if you ask me. Of course, I had him explain all of this to me before we even got engaged. Really? We never talked about any of that. He didn't tell me he expected anything like that after we got married. You're lying to me. You don't believe me? Why don't you just ask him and he'll tell you the same thing I did? After all, you guys are on your honeymoon so if you're going find time to talk about all of this it would be now. Well, it was great catching up with you but I have to get back to work. Enjoy the rest of your honeymoon. One hour later. Melissa, what the hell am I supposed to do? You were right, Jacob just pretty much told me the same thing you did. We're moving into his dad's as soon as we get back from our honeymoon. You have to help me. I have to do all the house cleaning and take care of his dad but I'm not getting paid for any of it. And then he also said that once I quit my job, he's in charge of all of her finances too. Even the money in my savings. He wants to combine her bank accounts. Oh, wow, it looks like he even added some conditions. That must suck. Yeah, you would think something this big would want some kind of conversation beforehand. But when I asked him why he never even mentioned any of this before, he said that when he dumped his last girlfriend, she told him, there's no way anyone would agree to all those things and that he should really rethink making those demands. So he took the advice and decided to hide all that information until after we got married. Huh, well isn't that something? Okay, I gotta be honest, when I told him he should rethink that, that is definitely not what I had in mind. I meant he should rethink those conditions not rethink talking about them. I can't believe this happening, and you know what the most annoying part of all of this is? That all he considers me is basically a glorified housekeeper. And when I asked him why he wanted to get married to me, he said he was basically looking for a replacement because he lost his mom. Oh, yeah, Jacob told me the same thing. I guess a few years back, Jacob's mom filed for divorce and then just up and disappeared. He said he was so upset when his mom left and there was nobody to do the housekeeping or to take care of his dad and it was too much work so he wanted to find a wife to take over everything for him. He even said that you had reminded him of his mom and kind of looked like her too, so he really liked you but his dad said someone younger would be more useful in the long run so he gave up and listened to him. I thought I hit the husband lottery, but instead I get stuck with a boy with mommy issues. Yeah, not gonna lie, when I heard that, it put me off too. I thought he was a catch, but glad I dodged that bullet. This is literally making me sick to my stomach. Hey look on the bright side. Getting to retire early because you're getting married seems like a pretty sweet deal. Dare I say, I'm jealous. What do you mean, this is cheerable? I can't believe you knew all of this the entire time and you didn't even bother to tell me. Hey, don't look at me. I thought he would explain all of that to you before you two got married. I mean, that would be the responsible and logical thing to do. That's why I was so low-key surprised when you actually went through with marrying him. That takes a lot of guts to know you're gonna have to endure all of that for the rest of your life. No I can't, there's NPO way. You have to help me get out of this somehow. If this is how I have to live marrying Dallas would have been a million times better. He's definitely not as hot as Jacob, but I would rather marry a troll than have to live in my own personal hell like this. You think Dallas would still take me back? One hour later. Melissa, I can't believe this is happening. I just heard that Dallas was transferred to one of the overseas offices. Um, Mallory, you do know you're bothering me at work, right? I happen to be very busy right now and I don't really have time for your whining. Whatever, this is more important, nobody told me that Dallas is going to Germany. What the actual hell? Yeah, isn't that great? Good for him. Apparently he's gonna be there for like, five years. They might even extend his contract there longer if he can lay on him that big deal. This isn't a joke, Melissa. When I texted Dallas, he said you were the one that recommended him for the transfer and got him the interview. How could you do that to me? 
Do you enjoy running my life? Honey, you seem to be doing a bang up job of that all on your own. He said that he can't get back together with me because he's leaving. It's all your fault. Stop interfering with my personal business. Not everything is about you, Mallory. Dallas asked me to make a recommendation to his boss, so I did. Simple as that. Besides, it's more your fault than mine that he put in for the overseas transfer in the first place. No, it's not. Yeah, actually, it is. Dallas was thinking about asking you to marry him before you went and dumped him. So he was actually staying in the country for you, but since he has no reason to stay here anymore he saw no reason why he shouldn't try to advance his own career. He could really use the experience, especially since he wants to take over his parents' business someday, so he thought it would be good to make some connections overseas as well while he's at it. He's what? Wait a damn minute, he's planning on taking over his parents' company. Yeah, isn't that great? I actually just learned about this myself but apparently his parents own one of our biggest supply companies. I mean, this would be way in the future but he does plan to eventually take over his parents' business. What? I never knew about this. Are you telling me that if I stayed with Dallas I would have become the wife of some bigwig CEO one day? I suppose that was a possibility. That's not fair. I can't believe this. I'll divorce Jacob so Dallas and I can get married. Melissa, you can have him back. Okay, Jacob is all yours and you can marry him instead. What? Aren't you happy about that? You got him back, you can still have the chance to get married, even at 40. You're welcome. I'll come back for my honeymoon right now, so you and Jacob can live happily ever after. Yeah, thanks, but no thanks. I appreciate your generosity but I really have no need for Jacob in my life. Actually, I already have like, 10 different dates set up. You what? How the hell did you get 10 dates? Well, when everyone at the office heard about what happened with Jacob, they all wanted to introduce me to one of their friends and before I knew it they'd set me up on all of these dates. I mean, I really had no problem staying single but they all just wanted me to be happy and find a nice guy. So they've all been really insistent on trying to find someone for me. CEOs, lawyers, doctors, you get the gist. They've been introducing me to all these wonderful people and it really made me see what I was missing out on. No way you're getting all of these high-profile men to actually go out with you. How is that fair to me? Why do you got everything? I want to marry someone like that too. Why do I have to stuck with stupid Jacob? Mallory, you already have a husband, remember? I wish you both a long and happy marriage. And make sure to enjoy that honeymoon. You know that nightmare will be waiting for you when you get back. After that. So after our conversation, Mallory came back from her honeymoon with Jacob. She was promptly whisked away to live at his dad's house and her own personal hell began. Just like he mentioned, he made her quit her job. In fact, Mallory wasn't even the one to do it. Jacob came in with the papers and none of us really ever saw her again and she all but disappeared from her office. From what I've heard, it seems like she was really stuck doing all of the housework and taking care of Jacob's dad. And apparently her husband nor her father-in-law won't lift a finger to help her out. So while Jacob sits on the couch watching television when he gets home from work, Mallory is still cleaning. She said she finally gets why his mom ran out on him as she spends her days crying and doing laundry, cooking, cleaning and whatever else Jacob and his dad need her to do for them. I, on the other hand, have been doing great. Getting dumped by Jacob had to be one of the best things to ever happen to me. The dates have been going really well and I met this one guy who's a doctor, who I really hit it off with and now we've been dating for around a month now. Everyone in the office says that they're planning to go all out when I finally tie the knot, which is a little embarrassing, but I actually kind of like it. Don't tell anyone though, 